Hey, welcome back friends. 2024 Tampa RV show and I'm here with Brinkley showing you guys their brand new travel trailer, the 295 Air. This is their Z-Line. And yeah, we're going to today we're going to walk through the exterior. I've got some help today. There's a lot of um, features on this trailer that you're going I don't want to miss and so got a little bit of help with me today. You'll meet him in just a second. But uh, yeah, this is a very impressive unit. You guys have seen me tour their fifth wheels, a couple of those. We'll have some upcoming uh, walkthroughs on those as well. But today we're doing the 295 Air. Hope you stick around. Okay guys, normally we start from the front of these units, but I wanted to show you the back of this 295 Air. And we're at a show guys, there might be some sounds, uh, we got a lot of stuff getting prepped for the 2024 Tampa show, so please excuse that. But yeah, let's start at the back of this unit and show you this huge storage compartment in the 295. Brinkley's done a good job with this storage area, I like it. You got your tough ply flooring, let's let the lighting adjust a little bit. Everything's carpeted. You got a couple, you got an outlet right here, you got an outlet over here. And the nice thing here is this pops down and now you've got this separated from this. So you've also got a 300 pound hitch back here, two inch hitch. You got a little four pin connector as well. You can see that. Nice graphics on the Brinkley's. As you guys have seen before, they've done a great job with these. A lot of people are knocking them off. That means they, they do well with, with the graphics. There's the back of the 295. Ladder, walkable roof, of course, on all of these units. Nice three frame slide. You'll see these windows in a second. We've talked about those. These are gonna be the same windows as their fifth wheel line. Is that right, Greg? Yes. All right, so I've got, I've got Greg Cody with me here Hello. from Brinkley RV helping me out, and he's gonna make sure I don't screw up give you any misinformation. Um, here's your bunks, you'll see those in just a second. Through fame slide, nice auto level system here. So this is gonna be a three point auto level. These are these are powered here, and then it's gonna work off the tongue jack in the front, and then you're gonna have some uh, st electric stabilizers there in the front as well. Got two awnings on this unit. So it looks to be, what, about 25 feet of awning? Yeah. Somewhere around that, yeah. between the two of them. And I like how this awning completely covers that door. A lot of times you'll see awnings bump up right next to the door. And yeah, if there's any wind, you're gonna get wet. But I like how they did that. Nice graphics. Got the little Brinkley B throughout the graphics. Just a really good looking unit. Got the, the black wheels here. Goodyear's on this unit. I like those black wheels. It's got extra wide Lippert solid steps. Those are 30 inch wide. So this is going to be a good bit wider than most travel trailers. This is You're going to be as wide as fifth wheels uh, as far as this door is concerned. It's much appreciated if you're trying to get things in and out. And uh, yeah, you can see you've got your electric locks there. Big storage up front. Nice pass through storage. Obviously, again, we're at a show. So there's some show stuff here. but. Here's some goodies up here. Let's take a look at this. So you've got your battery switches here, your cutoffs there, hot and cold shower here. You got your slide light right here, and uh, yeah, you got some GFCIs back here. Cable pass through light here on a switch. You can see the aluminum frame right there. Let's head over there. Let's show you this front cap first. Just a really great job. From Brinkley in styling. I really like the front cap here. And you're gonna you're gonna have it at nighttime. You'll this will be lit up. This will be lit up. I've seen them at campgrounds before the fifth wheels, and they really they really look nice at night. Now, this is this is something new you guys did, right, Greg? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to be propane. Is there batteries in here? Yep. Propane okay. batteries. Two thirty pound tanks. Got a little storage up here. Batteries in there. This lifts up so you can unhook and then slide them out on the side. So you have easy access. You don't have to 
pull them up out of here, obviously you can pull them, pull them this way. So those tanks will be heavy when they're full. But yeah, you got 60 pounds of propane here. That's, we a, that's a good looking, uh, good looking unit here. Notched it out here so that your weight bars and all that stuff will fit in there. Nice, so nice. It's elevated. Right. And you can still fit two group 27s back in here. So if he if wasn't clear about that, if when you're going to use a weight distribution with this unit, got a little, got a little forklift coming behind me. If you're using weight distribution, this is where your saddles are going to be, somewhere between a 27 and 32 inch range. And so they've left that area open so you make sure you can install those. So good good, good thinking there. And then this is lockable, obviously. You yes. can see that here. Very nice. Let's get to the business over this side. So interestingly enough, this has electric valves for your, black, for your tanks, your black and gray tanks. You can see those here. Grays are plumbed together in one. Grays are plumbed together in one? Yep. So you got extra, so, yeah, you got 90 gallons of gray and what, 40 gallons of black? Yeah. Okay. All that'll be, you'll see guys, you'll see all that popping up below. But you, got, you guys are already going to get these little elbows here. Now this here, this is going to be, how many feet, 40 60. feet? 60 feet of hose right back here. Already comes with the unit. That's nice. So we're, we're getting into some higher end fifth wheel stuff in a travel trailer. There's your solar charge controller right up there. And of course your, your full Nautilus back here. Good looking unit. The other slide is also a through frame. I'm a big fan of through frame slides. 50 amp unit. There's your furnace. Other side of the wheels. Why don't we go inside? All right, friends, let's go inside the 295 Air. Before I go inside, though, I want to remind you guys, just like other Brinkley models, speakers are undermounted. So you don't have any circles cluttering up the side of your unit. They're actually underneath there. And they supposedly, they sound a lot better that way as well, which would make sense. So big, wide, 30-inch door. As soon as you walk in, two brass hooks. You know we love hooks around here. Uh, they're just so functional, make a lot of sense. But let's walk in this bad boy. The first travel trailer from Brinkley RV. And I think they've done a killer job. You guys know we love having somewhere to sit for the entire family and they've accomplished that. Now, pretty cool, you'll see some of the B-roll. You'll see this little bracket here. There's actually a mount that stores right in here. If I show you, you pull that out, that's the mount. The table's actually behind the sofa and that turns into a nice little area you could actually eat. So you kind of still have a dinette in here. You got some wireless charging here. You got some USB charging over there. Fireplace, storage, nice big TV. That's going to be, I got to be at least 60 some odd inches, 60 plus inches of TV. Got your island that's underlit. Nice big fridge. I think you said it was 16 cube. Let's see what we got here. Let's look over here. Usually if you're not sure, you can find 16. it right over here. Yeah, 16 cubic feet of refrigerator and freezer. So nice huge unit there. This is great over here. Now we have talked about these little bars before. So taco bar, coffee bar, whatever. But extra counter space. Don't forget you've got all of this. But extra counter space, sink over here. And uh, yeah, this is just great. Tons of storage under here. Nice big storage. Now you've also got under lighting here. Turn that on. This one as well. Turn that on. I think the MSRP on these is going to be around 80. So not inexpensive, but that's if you're looking at Brinkley's, you're not looking to buy an inexpensive unit. You want some want some quality. And I think that's what you're getting. I'm, it feels pretty good to me. Stove over here. Your microwave here. Now, this is a killer. You do have to close this to get to it, but just a great lit pantry with power. So they've even got the cure rig hidden in here for the time being. But these are also adjustable. You can see that up there. Huge pantry. Now, stuff like this, dog bowls, these are magnetic. So that pops off. There's a magnet. You can see it right there pops in just like that. I love the use of magnets in Brinkley's. 
Everyone needs to catch up to that. Okay. Now, the Brinkley also does a good job with this. You've got your, this is not built in, it's actually storage for your, your, your uh, hair ties. It's always an awkward to find an area to put those. There we go. More storage over here. That's all your goodies you get with your unit. Two trash cans. Another thing Brinkley does extraordinarily well. Turn around here, you can see nice big windows on your campsite. These have also got, you know, I don't want to assume you've seen other videos on Brinkley's, but these have also got the three ways. You've got the blackout here, all right, just like that. And then you've also got, oh, maybe it's only on the ones that open. Only on the ones that open, okay. So you got blackout here, and then that closes magnetically. And if you want a screen, you can do that. So they don't have screens on the ones that open, because, well, why would they? So, yeah, makes a lot of sense to do it that way. You know what? Let's leave that open. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice big windows. Loving that. Like I mentioned, storage here below the TV. Nice little shelf up here. Let's check out the bunk room. This is a bunk model. And they have done a, you know, you've seen this, this typical rear bunk in some units before. Got a little step here. Now, I suge I've suggested they make this a flat step instead of rounded for obvious reasons, but uh, yeah, they got nice big bunks. These are going to be easily full size bunks. Would love to see some kind of window in here if possible, but I'm sure they'll work on that. Just a really good, good looking unit. And you've got, uh, for us, we got one boy, one girl. So, girl, boy, or older sibling, younger sibling. And then older, older, younger, younger. Plenty of storage for their stuff. We would never need anything more than that for our camping trips on the weekends. Let's head up towards the bathroom. It's not a walkthrough bathroom. A lot of people don't like walkthroughs and they have given you a traditional RV bathroom. It's not a walkthrough. A little shelf up here, hooks, magnetic toilet paper holder, which is always a big deal. I think it's awesome. I mean, why, why did it take so long to think of that? I know magnets have gotten better over the years. but Now this, this storage, this is similar to one of their RVs, their uh, fifth wheels. This actually opens up to the bedroom as well. Then you got a nice backlit mirror. Good storage under here. Nice. That's probably... Nine inches square, I guess. Kind of hard to tell on camera sometimes. Up in the bedroom, traditional layout for a travel trailer. You got the north-south bed with the storage surrounding. I like that. You got the, the cubbies over there. I'm going to assume, actually I haven't looked at that yet. I'm going to assume you have power to those. Let's see. You do. Yeah, you have switches and power in your cubby. Sorry about that. You know, we're homegrown around here. Oh, I like that. I like that little extra storage up there. You see, it does seem to go to waste on the units that go all the way up. So why not make that separate? Put something useful in there. Big drawers, at least uh, probably 20 inches by nine inches or so. Got a nice big wardrobe over here. Now remember, you could get to that from the bathroom, and there is your hot water. So, you've got tankless water, but nice big wardrobe. Remember, your hanging stuff is behind us. That is a huge drawer. You got four of them. So yeah, if you don't have enough storage in this thing, it might be time to start thinking to give to Goodwill. Foldable hooks, I like that. That is really cool. Yeah, just a great looking bedroom. Great looking unit overall. I'm very impressed. I really do like it. You can see you could put a TV up here. At this price point, probably should come with one, but they'll probably address that. Alright guys, there you go. The all-new Model Z Air 295 from Brinkley 
RV. I'm very impressed with this unit. I think it will be extraordinarily well received here in Tampa. Uh, guys, I hope you're doing good. Almost 75,000 subscribers to this point. I just want to say thank you. We really do appreciate it. I want to make sure to tell you guys each and every video. So I hope you guys are good. Hope you're being safe. See ya.